Welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Ollie Hayes and today I'm bringing you my reaction to the news that Armando Brozier has signed officially for Everton Football Club on a season-long loan with an option to buy from Chelsea. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into this news. Um, this has now been officially announced by the club that Armando Brozier has signed on a season-long loan at Everton. Um, and this comes after a deal sheet was put in by Everton on transfer deadline day very late on. Um, I think the news actually broke about quarter past 11 on deadline day that Armando Brozier was in potential talks with with Everton for a deal on loan and that a deal sheet had gone in. This was dropped by David Ornstein amongst you know various other sources on Twitter. Um you know, it was the, the news actually broke 15 minutes after the window shut. So I was all tucked up, ready to go to bed and and prepare myself for the Bournemouth game on, on Saturday. But yeah, it's it's now been announced officially by the club that Armando Brozier has joined on loan. And obviously that's been completed through the use of the deal sheet. Um, Brozier joins on loan after spells at Southampton and Fulham on loan from Chelsea in, in recent seasons. And they've had, you know, varying degrees of success in front of goal. Um, but yeah, probably more more success in front of goal um, in the Southampton spell obviously before that horrific ACL injury that he sustained um, just before the World Cup uh, playing for Chelsea um, Brozier's 22 he's an Albanian international he's quick strong you know very good in front of goal on his day and you know he's he's the kind of profile that we're looking for in terms of a striker he's he's very similar to Dominic Calvert-Lewin in, the, in, in that sense I think he's really been our, our main target all summer in, in terms of replacing Dominic Calvert-Lewin if he was to leave obviously that saga is still ongoing with Dominic Calvert-Lewin um, but yeah as I said before he is that type of profile that we're after as I said you know quick powerful good in front of goal and also quite skillful as well. I've I watched him in the Euros. I actually saw him in person play for Albania against Spain in their final group game. And he is very quick on the ball. He's you know he's got a very quick cha change of pace. He's got a very quick turn of pace. He's very skillful and he, he can cause defenders a lot of issues. So I think this is really exciting for me. But obviously the you know the the big thing that people may have reservations over is his injury record. Obviously he has had a few horrific injury records over the last few seasons, you know, especially as I mentioned before that ACL injury, which he sustained with Chelsea. I think, you know, they are very difficult injuries to overcome. So, you know, hopefully we can get him back on track. Obviously the, if there's a manager to get him back up to full fitness and, and back up to the, you know, the sharpest match fitness that he can, it is Sean Dyche. Obviously he's quite good at doing that. We've seen it with Dominic Calvert-Lewin in terms of all the injury problems he's had over the recent seasons. Bringing in Sean Dyche, obviously, as the manager, has, has improved Dominic Calvert-Lewin's fitness a lot. So hopefully we can do that for Armando Brozier. But obviously, as as we know, it is only a loan deal. So you know, with that option to buy, it gives us the flexibility that if he does have a good season, we can go and buy him at the end of the at the end of the season. But if he doesn't, obviously, he goes back to Chelsea and and you know we part ways amic amicably. So I think it is a really good deal for Everton. And obviously, it came completely out of the blue on deadline day. So. You know, I think that obviously there were rumblings all summer about Armando Brozier. Would he be joining? You know, then the 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 move to Ipswich from Chelsea on loan materialised, and that was you know all but completed between them two. And obviously that fell through. I think due to Ipswich not being happy with his medical, I think he did fail a medical at Ipswich. So, you know, obviously Everton are taking a chance on him. Um, you know, with his his recent injury record as well, he is injured until October, which is potentially why that Ipswich deal did fall through. But that being said, I think he's a top player and I think he is a player that can really help us this season. Obviously, we, we've we with the Dominic Calvert-Lewin saga ongoing, we were a little bit light up front. We weren't you know, fully sure on the, on the depth that we would have at the top of the pitch. Obviously, with Beto, Yusuf Chimiti is coming back from a, quite a nasty injury, which he sustained in pre-season. I was quite looking forward to seeing Yusuf Chimiti play this season. But obviously, bolstering our attack with Armando Brozier, he can play out wide as well, which I think is fantastic to see. It does really feel like a very good option, which have, has been exercised by the club. And I'm, I'm very to, you know happy to, to say that it is officially announced by the club and... You know, it's great work by Kevin Thelwell. Obviously, Sean Dyche has been a big fan as well for, for a long time. So I think it's great work all around. And obviously, it's it's quite nice to see that we're, we're doing deals right up until the deadline and, and really trying to push to, to better the squad. So I think it's really positive. But yeah, as I said before, that's that's my reaction to the news on Armando Brozier joining from Chelsea on a season-long loan with an option to buy. Let me know your thoughts on the player. Are you excited to see him in Everton shirt? Are you excited to see him join um, you know, on, on loan from Chelsea? Would you have preferred a permanent deal or are you happy that it is just a loan deal with his obvious recent injury record? But let me know your thoughts in the comments. But that is all from me today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and I'll speak to you soon.